In the last one year, Nigerians have seen the prices of commodities increased by more than 100%. In the midst of this rising cost of living, Nigerian women are facing a unique challenge. According to available statistics, about 37 million Nigerian women cannot afford essential menstrual hygiene product. Now, the prices of these products have also increased significantly, and this has worsened period poverty among Nigerian women. The price uh, increased uh, during uh, when the when there was a rise in dollar, so there there was increment in prices. That was when the, anytime there is a hike in uh, petroleum. You see, uh, commodities too, even parts too, will increase in price. Sadia Meikasua, a 40-year-old woman, said she had stopped using sanitary parts as the cost continues to rise and is now above what she can afford. <laughs> Zainab Muhammad is a 24-year-old student who sells snacks and confectionaries, making between 1,000 and 3,000 naira profits, depending on orders. Yet, she is not immune to period poverty. Faced with increasing prices, some women told Premium Times that they have abandoned disposable sanitary parts to embrace reusable parts. The convener of sanitary pad media campaign, Anikia De Funke Treasure, said families now spend more on food and have less disposable income to spend on items such as sanitary pads. So this price increase has affected the pad budget. And you know that the PAD budget is usually after um, totaling every other thing that people need at home within the family. Nevertheless, this is an essential item. She worries that the inflationary effect on sanitary parts may reverse the gain already recorded in the number of women adopting sanitary parts and worsen menstrual hygiene. So if we thought we were winning with the campaign for menstrual hygiene, for proper menstrual hygiene for women, it looks like we may be losing that, um, that win given the rising costs of living in Nigeria now.